vinyl tubing is just one of those products where if you make things enough, you're going to encounter the problem of cutting this. So in this video, I'll show you how you can just, out of a simple block of plywood, make a device that enables you to make much, much straighter cuts. Also, I'll show you how you can cut tubing vertically, or even split it in half if you want to. Who am I to say what's weird? I'm not judging. I think that the conventional approach to cutting vinyl tubing usually involves one of these cutters that just sort of powers through the material. And this is sort of quick and effective, but it leaves somewhat of a nasty cut, while the method that I'm about to show you can, well, at least after some practice, it can leave you with a cut that is nearly flawless. This is very simple to make, and I will include this template the link will be in the description, and it's very simple to operate. I'm using just a common white bar soap to make a dry lubricant. And this can be used on the screws, on the razor blade, and even in here. Now you'll notice that there's this little viewing window so that you can get cuts that are reasonably accurate. Now this additional piece of vinyl that's been split down the middle, it functions as kind of a guide. And you allow the guide to roll along the plywood here, and it really helps to make a straighter cut and, well, just kind of compensate for the curvature of the vinyl tubing that happens during shipping. I'll just make a cut or two in real time so that you can see it in operation. Now I've also made one of these devices for larger tubing. This one is for one inch and it works just as well. But let's move on to how we can split tubing. Now this is simple enough. It just has a hole through the middle of it that is slightly larger than the tubing that we'd like to split. And the reason for that is because as the tubing is split it will open up and increase in diameter and so you have to have the hole compensate for the enlargement. The little angle on the side is for the razor blade to sit against and you want to adjust it so that the razor blade only cuts one wall at a time. Now for phase two, in order to split it in half, we need to make a little fin, and this is just from a piece of milk carton. And we make the fin just touch the razor blade. And now we will feed 
our split tubing back through it. And this time the part that's already cut will be guided by the fin. Well, I hope that you found this to be of some use, and I will see you next time.